What's up guys? I'm back. Got another one at the same store today. I got the service meat case. That yeah, it's not doing anything. I don't know if there's a thermometer in here or not. It doesn't quite look like it, but you see we've got no frost here. Right. If you look over here at the seafood one, we got some frost there. Looks like that says E4 something. This one's E4B. I told them, probably gonna have to have them empty it, but let's see what I can do to avoid that. So we got E4B and E4A. Let's go find rack E. So here's rack E. So notice right away, our suction pressure is good. So let's see, E4B is running because it says thermostat cut in. What do we got here? 30 minute intervals. So this is back on the 31st, so we've gone back several days. Let's look at, so both of these have the same cut in. the seafood case. Seafood case is able to maintain in the 20s pretty good. It sure doesn't feel like it's 34 degrees in that meat case though. You might have to get a thermometer to show you guys. So I gotta get in that case and I got to find out what's going on with my solenoid valve and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to tell him to empty it. So he says that that case he's actually getting temperatures in the 40s and the meat's starting to dry out um, same day so he's gonna empty it out and I'll grab my tools that was quick it's only been like five minutes okay we're running now we're calling I've got my probes on here they look to be good I'm not sure if this thing is controlled by the Danfoss controller. It might be. But it might also have a uh, temperature controller. So, pop open the panel right here. And there it is. Temp controller. So we could, you know, just adjust that thermometer and make it a little colder so that it reaches set point like a loser, or we could replace the temp control, which is what we're going to do. So in order to do that, it's more of a challenge. I've got to take this panel off, which means I've got to take this off, which was the shelf. All right, with the panel removed, see my A9, my, well, that's not an A19, that's a Honeywell, but it comes up here, it's going to go through this little thing which is behind that plate held on by a few quarter inch screws and then it comes through there and it goes into this channel so you got to take off both of those so that you can remove that plate and probably that plate it's probably gonna go up there yes I have spotted it it's right here so we got to take this plate right here off so we got to remove these two shells then it's as simple as now you just gotta follow it back pull it through so here's our lovely A19 controller so I'm gonna replace it I'm not gonna film the replacement procedure of it the you know taking this apart mounting it fishing the line through I'm just gonna do it 
All right, so this here will not come through here. I'm not sure how the manufacturer got it in there, but I'm gonna have to cut it, and we're going in with the KE2 because it has a tiny sensor like that that I'll be able to put in there. All right, so I've installed my KE2. I got it set at 30 with a two degree. It's a 30 with a two degree differential. And we're gonna take out the defrost per day. With the KE2s, you gotta push and hold enter and wait for it all to blink for it to take. All right, so this thing should not do any defaults. So now that I got my KE2 installed, I'm going to I'm going to watch this, and I'm going to play with the temperatures and manipulate the KE2 however I need to to get it to balance down and stay at 28 or within the range of. Let's see, this is the seafood one next to it. So yeah, I want to see 28 degrees. Let's see, come here, edit, let's change it to one minute and see how it fluctuates. It doesn't really, okay, so over here. So every minute, so between 27, 26, I'd like to see it between, fluctuating between 26 and 30, like this one does. And one last thing that's important to note is that this controller sends power to that controller that's over there that ke2 that's over there so this will only get so far so I could set that ke2 controller really low and then this will control it that ke2 will stay closed all the time so that other temp control is in a sense pointless but since it had one I figured might as well go ahead and replace it uh, that way that looks better than just you know saying that I turned it down um, we can bill for the part we can bill for my labor, it brings up profit, gross revenue. I'll do that and then I'll call this job complete. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. Um, comment on this video, share this video. Um, stick around for the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.